everybody and welcome back to the Blue Collar Lacrosse Mark Mesh Studios. We've put out a series of videos that show you the difference between Mark Mesh and all the other meshes out there. Uh, you can look at the video called the Poke and Hammer Test to see the difference between mesh butter versus regular wax. However, this video right here is specifically talk about the material that the netting is made out of. The lacrosse world has a dirty little secret and that is that you think that you have nylon netting in your stick when the vast majority of you do not. At Mark Mesh, we've always gone the extra distance to make sure that we put nylon netting into your stick. We've put that in writing on our website since 2008. We've never used anything but nylon and until something better comes, we never will. So what are other people using? Let's go on a field trip and find out. So what are we doing here at a tennis court? We're here to prove a point. The point being that most of the lacrosse netting today is made from one of the three polys. Either polyester, polyethylene, or the vast majority is made from polypropylene. Now, I'm not saying that those don't have a place in sport. After all, polypropylene is the number one material used in tennis rackets, even on the Pro Tour, because polypropylene has no give it returns all the energy back to the ball and allows you to put topspin on it. However, for lacrosse, you're not returning a ball, you're catching it. And even more important than that, you want it to form a pocket. And that's where nylon far supersedes all those other polys. The reason being, nylon has the ability to expand while catching the ball. It's called impact resistance. And after expanding, it will return back to its original shape because of the memory of the nylon and that allows you to form a pocket. On top of that, a lacrosse ball is three times as heavy as a tennis ball. Nylon is three times as strong as polypropylene. Now there is a distinct third advantage that nylon has over the polys, but that comes down to the manufacturing of Mark Mesh, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Now the question is, why do people put one of those three polys into a lacrosse stick? Well, the answer is quite simple. First of all, those polys are half the price, if not cheaper, than nylon. And secondly, they're much more abundant. While there are dozens of manufacturers that are able to knit you a lacrosse netting out of polypropylene, the amount of manufacturers that could knit you lacrosse netting out of nylon, you could count them on one hand. So, really, anybody that's putting a polypropylene, polyester, or polyethylene into a lacrosse stick, one of two things have occurred. They either haven't done their research, or, Rather than trying to grow the game, they're just trying to grow their bank account. So what else is polypropylene used for? Well, polypropylene is the number one material used for trampolines. It's also what you would find in the material of your lacrosse wall rebounder in your backyard. How could that be good to put inside of a lacrosse stick? What benefit is that to a young player who can't even catch a ball or form a pocket? You know, I've coached for over 20 years and the only players I've ever seen put their lacrosse stick down are the players that didn't enjoy the game because they got handed a bad stick. So let's get back to the studio and wrap this video up because there is one third major advantage that nylon has over polypropylene and all the other polys when it comes to the manufacturing of Mark Mesh. But while we're on our way over there, I want you to think of one thing. Why would you be playing lacrosse with a tennis racket? It would be like playing tennis with a lacrosse stick. Yeah! Get some! So what is the third benefit to nylon? Well, nylon is extremely heat resistant. And that heat resistance helps us in the production of making Mark Mesh as it allows us to work at temperatures that allow us to infuse the mesh butter right into the center of the nylon, giving that mesh longer life a better break-in, and more weather resistance. Now that's unfortunate because if you were to go and buy a shirt from a store, it would have a label in it telling you what that product is made out of. Well, we have always let you know on our website and also in our packaging that we have always used nylon, we always will, unless something better comes along. But until that day, we will always go the extra distance to make sure that the pocket we put in your stick isn't a piece of poly poop, we're giving you the best there is, and that's all there is to it. You know, as a company, 
we were thinking that maybe we should come out with a lower grade mesh. Maybe use one of these polys and give you something that's a little more economically priced. However, Mark said it the best. If you're going to do that, then you better take my name off the product. Because we produce Mark Mesh with a passion and a pride. When we first went into business, we had one goal, and that was to make the best pocket in lacrosse, no matter what the cost. Everything we use is a top quality material, including our dyes. There's nobody that matches Mark Mesh's performance, and there's nobody that matches Mark Mesh's quality. We hope you found this video interesting, and I hope that you'll do the research of going to Google and looking up all these things that I've said to you for yourself. You will see that nylon is by far the most superior netting that you should be putting in the pocket of your lacrosse stick. And I'll even hope you go a step further and try to find out when you buy a lacrosse mesh, what that mesh is made from. The manufacturer should have it on their website, and if they don't, drop them an email. But I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Well, maybe not pleasantly, but you'll certainly be surprised as to what some people that hide behind the hashtag of Grow the Game are willing to put into the pocket of your lacrosse stick. Thank you once again for watching. Keep your eyes out for more videos because we, there's still plenty of things to tell you that make Mark Mesh superior to any other mesh out there. Take care.